Why are we so... Oh, no. I shouldn't have taken the blanket. Oh, we goofed up bad. Oh, that's going to lower our damage, too. <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone. Jeff here, and welcome back to Potato. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to start our difficult challenge runs. We're going to be doing uh, all the vanilla characters with all mods turned off. Uh, where the enemies have higher speed and damage and health. But today we have one run to do that's been requested quite a bit, and that is the double baby run. Um, I assume double baby with pruners is the answer here? Or ghost pruners? I don't really know. I, I guess, well, let's see. Just pruners. Um, so what is this character actually? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have... We start with six gardens. We get six HP when we pick up consumable. We get 10 materials when we pick up consumable at max HP. Enemies don't drop materials. We have no HP regen or lifesteal, and we start with two improved tools. Um, that should work. And it does affect garden, so... Well, I mean, I was told in the comments multiple times that this run is absolutely insanely busted, so I was expecting nothing less. Um, fairly degenerate at wave one for sure. <laughs> With 170 materials. All right, let's grab ourselves some more pruners, preferably. Is the character not tagged for pruners? Or are we just unlucky? I don't know. We have a lot of money. We have a lot of money. Um, so yeah, this is going to be our like absolute silly fun we're broken run and then tomorrow the challenges are going to start which is going to be difficult i'm gonna take this lost duck you know what we're so rich that i think we can do that um I'm gonna stop there that's fine okay we now have an absurd number of gardens so we're going to spend most of our time just walking around picking up things out of the garden um I think what we need is like a lot of attack speed and a lot of movement speed. Because one thing that happens is like if you have max pickup range, it doesn't matter because we're full health and it won't pick up the materials. So that's the thing. So more attack speed is going to be good. More pruners, obviously. So attack speed, movement speed, pruners, and melee damage, I guess right now is kind of what we're after. I mean, not seeing it. There's a pruner. Um, I mean, fruit battery seems like it was just just actually perfect for this character. I guess claw tree is fine, too. Mm, oh, you know what? We should have taken weird food. That was a oversight. Uh, Beanie's definitely good here, too. I'm also realizing this is shop two even though it feels like much, much later, but whatever, you know, it's fine. All right, now we're a kid with a beanie, very hipster of us, and the robots are coming. <laughs> and, and this is the game we're playing now. Maybe we can like, I don't know, buy every plus enemy weapon to make this challenge. I don't know, this is a fun run. I might even, I might cut this video a little bit so that it's shorter. Uh, if we have some dull middle waves, if we've gotten too strong. I mean, right now we're fine, right? But like, the, we have wave three, we have 428 materials in the world. Uh, let's give melee damage for now. We'll get the attack speed later. Um, Yeah, also the shopping's gonna take a bit, so let's try to make this a little shorter. I've already made questionable decisions in the shop, but it's fine. I'm gonna take this ugly tooth just to get it out. Plum Blossom's obviously fantastic here. Drone is just unnecessary. There's the weird food we wanted before. Hey, a gentle alien, a lost duck, another weird food. Okay. That's pretty good. I think. It's gonna go... Oh, I guess we don't have to pick up... Well, as I say, I guess we don't have to pick up materials because our food because... We'll get the money at the end of the wave anyway, but also that's how we spawn our robots. So, yeah. Although, 
I will say, I think my, like, actual rolling of robots has been abysmal this wave. Like, I don't even think it should be possible for it to be that bad, but I guess it was. Um, let's go take 30 range because it's the best, like, tier upgrade there. Not that we really need it. Lumberjack shirt's fine. Let's get it out of the shop as well. Weird ghost is kind of weird here. Kind of weird. Ghost. Um, we, like, lose some money because of it. So it's even more expensive than it shows. That's why I'm kind of, like, not going to take it. Uh, spicy sauce is obviously kind of meant for this. I'm still looking. Okay, there's bag. That's an obvious pickup. More luck is good. More pruners. More claw trees. We could just dodge dump and just take little frog. I'm kind of okay with that. All right, let's see if we can actually get some some robots now. I, this could just be like an on pickup character where we take all the uh, special sauce or whatever, whatever it's called. What is this item called? Spicy sauce. Yeah, we take the, the fart joke item and then we take all the things that summon robots when you pick up uh, food. Make it the food character. The thing that Glutton is supposed to be, but it's kind of like uninspired. You're like, not uninspired, that's not a good word. Respect everything yeah. Blobfish has done. It's just like, I think it's kind of boring. Lure and a, and a purple pruner. Okay, that's good. Uh, I don't want reduced attack speed. I'm still, Speaking of stealing. I mean, Torn Pocket, we could do things with later. Firecracker is also good. Explosion size. There's another, another fruit battery thing. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. We also, like, we only have 16 HP and no defenses to speak of at all. So we could die. Like, that's not outside the realm of possibility. Our regen is um, impossibly good, I would say, with all the healing we're going to get if it gets bad. But um, we are liable to get one shot on 18 or 18 on wave eight if we aren't uh, good about picking up some, you know, healing or not healing uh, max HP here. I don't know, sometimes words are hard. Today seems to be one of those days. 700 materials on wave six, this is dumb. Um, speed, attack speed, just all the speed we can get, just. All right, torn pockets, fine. I mean, we could cyberball. Honestly, I skipped a pruner, whoops. Whoops, oh, let's take a piggy bank, okay, that's fine. Can't believe I skipped a pruner. What a what a dummy that Jeff is. It's fine. I've got these robots here to help me out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to practice my dodging and whatnot because I haven't played like serious unmodded rotato in a while. And uh, if we're gonna do 182% rotato, it's gonna be brutal. Um, now, when those runs start happening, do not expect wins every day, because that's it's a whole different type of beast. I'm going to lose a lot more than I win. Might be some longer videos because of it. Because I think regular Danger 5 on most characters, we can get up above 90% win rate pretty consistently. Um, I'm just going to take HP here. I think that's fine rather than rolling. Uh, we're dodge dumping. I'm kind of fine with taking the stupid explosive furry doll. Let's not take alien baby. Um, these are all like super unexciting to me. 
Metal detector is good though. White flag is quite good here. One of the few times I'm gonna say white flag is good. I think white flag is normally basically unusable. But for the purposes of this build specifically in this character, white flag is not so bad. It's not great. It's not great. But it's not bad. That's what I'll say. I could take the compass there, but I'm probably just going to let it ride. All right, we have 20 HP. I don't think we get one shot. We have zero armor, no dodge. Um, uh, How much damage do they do? I don't think it's enough to kill us. I think it's... I feel like it's 18 or something like that base. I need to look it up. These are things I should know. I just can't remember everything. That's not true. I just can't remember anything. That's that's more like it. Unless it's a magic card from like, I don't know, 2012 to 2014. Then I can like tell you everything, but I don't know what that means about my brain. Pretty bad though. I don't even know if those dates were right. All right, 900 materials again. Let's just let's just take the damage. We're not taking HP regen, let's take max HP. All right, now I feel way better. Tree, power generator, obviously. Always take power generator. Always, always, always. You'll learn nothing else from my videos. Just take power generator and speed and be done. I mean, don't take it in characters where you can't upgrade your speed and don't take it in characters where you're speed dumping, but other than that, always take it. Uh, hey, a garden and a black belt. That's pretty good. Oh, a lotto ticket. We rich. I, I don't think we needed that. I think that was excessive. I take a Pokeball and alien magic. OK, sure, whatever. Um, You know, if we were smart when we won the lotto, we should have just saved it in our piggy bank. But like real life, when you win the lotto, you win like 20 bucks on a scratch off, you immediately go and spend that on more so that you eventually lost your money. It's what everyone I've seen who buys scratch off does. And that is what we just did in game form. Because that's how it works. <laughs> Yay, gambling addictions. Fun for some of us. I'm guessing Okay, so thinking back on my previous picks, I'm guessing with a build that has negative 100% enemy drop rate, uh, Torn Pocket's probably not very good. We did pick up the Metal Detector, so that helps. And some enemies still drop materials and trees and stuff, but like, in hindsight, not great. Um, John's Contract, you know, I'm, I'm down for it. Can it kill us? Yeah. Is it going to? Hopefully not. Pruner. All right, give me more fruit batteries. That's what I'm. That's what I'm after. We're here for the fruit batteries. Membership card. Yes. Fortress. Yes. Uh, I I think. I think it's safe to say we need some armor. What the hell is this? Get a certain amount of stats you're tagged for. Stats obtained. Max HP harvesting. This is a super cool item. This needs to be in vanilla. Okay, I'm kind of excited. I'm gonna buy that. Um, That's a genius item to be in the game. Actually genius. Um, We still don't have any armor. Okay. Okay, so when we level up here, probably very important that we pick up some armor. I'm like, I'm not trying to get hit, right? But I'm eventually going to get hit. Just the way of the game. It's kind of messy. 
I would like to have like I don't know, four armor or something. Three. If we got three armor in this upgrade, you know, in this level up session, I would be totally cool with that. Like there, I'm pretty sure we got tapped. Um, okay, so I'm just going to run through and hope we don't die for it and then kill those loot goblins. That's all great. There's food everywhere. There's so much food. We are the hungriest little baby in the world. And there's all the materials. Yeah, that's pretty decent. We'll take a turret. Ben is great. There's three armor. I see. Look, I. You know, all you have to do is ask for what you want and you just get it. It's, it's not hard. I'm going to take Scar and the dummy. Uh, Dark Altar is kind of like whack. I don't know. Alien Eyes is fantastic. Hellfire. We have John's contract. It gives us 35 harvesting. Five elemental damage. I don't know like what we're doing with it, but I'm going to take it. It's fine. Uh, I'll take a landmine. We're kind of like doing this weird engineering on the side sort of deal this run. Mostly it's because of the fruit batteries. But, you know, I don't know. When you have... When you have this much income, it's... It, I feel like it gets to that point where you're just kind of doing whatever. Oh, we have the furry doll. Taking the elemental damage was so good. I'm so smart. Subconsciously, I knew. Consciously, I don't know nothing. And the firecrackers we took earlier are good for landmines too. Look, it's all, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. This is... <laughs> This is what happens when you play enough potato that everything just goes your way. You just forget that like, oh, that was good. My brain can take over for me because I'm clearly... I don't know who's in control today, but it's not me. All right, Lens, you're out. Head injury's fine. Effective steroids. Let's just take the range to counteract what we just took. Uh, two armor? Hard to say no to that. Um, since we are dumping dodge, I don't think we need it. Oh, well, now we can get crit. I really don't want to take minus four armor right now. I do love, uh, I do love, uh, Orb of Chaos, but I don't think this is the time for it, unfortunately. Give me the attack speed. Give me, I would like more attack speed, please. I guess I'll take Fighting Spirit. It's just good. I want crit. I don't even want the medical turret. Don't even don't even need another garden. Okay. Well. That seems good. I think more landmines. Shadow katana. Mastery. This is a good time for that. We could do to we could stand for a little bit more damage. Oh, it's our old friend. He is uh nullified. Oh, I just thought about some of the new elites on like super hard mode. That's gonna suck. Crocodile with 50% more speed. Ugh. Ugh. Whatever. All right. The rhino is dead. Long live the rhino. All right, question. Has anyone seen the movie Into the Storm? Uh, my wife was talking to me about... Uh, we, we like watching bad disaster movies. And she saw this like article, you know, some BS like ranker or whatever article that was like the top X disaster movies that are seriously underrated. Uh, number one was like Deep Impact. And I was like, that's fair. It kind of got like overshone by Armageddon when it came out, if I remember correctly. And then at some point it was like Into the Storm. And I was like, I've never heard of this movie. How is that? How have I never heard of a movie? Right. I, I watch all the movies. Um, so that's on the list. Uh, we'll have to see if it's good. Hexonium armor. Um, 
That's so weird. That's a super cool item, but not right now. Anyways. Um. Yeah, so. I think my point was not about that movie, because we are going to watch that. I'm just curious to people who thought it was. Um, but then it showed underrated movies, and like the last thing on the list was Moonfall, and that was like a couple years ago. I don't know if you've seen Moonfall, and we're gonna spoil it with Moonfall right now, but don't worry, it doesn't matter. Um, so it's a bad movie. It's it's not good. However. It has really cool special effects and the end is freaking wild. So the premise is uh, the moon is falling, right? Which I guess that they kind of give that away in the name. Um, I don't see how this movie can be underrated also. It is not good. Anyway, the moon is falling and it's up to like Ali Berry and Patrick Wilson and uh, Frick, what's his name from Game of Thrones? Uh, Jon Snow's friend. Anyways, they're going to stop the moon from falling. It, it doesn't make sense. Don't ask. It just that's what it is, right? So, you know, all the disaster movie stuff, they show all the disasters happening. It's kind of cool, whatever. And they get to the moon, right? The three of them, because why, why not? Uh, I, at this point, I'm just taking items, by the way. We're just kind of doing whatever. I don't think it matters. Corp stars helmet. I forgot about this thing. Just community support. Take that. It's fine. Um, so they get to the moon and at the end of this, like fairly generic disaster movie, right? You get a 15 minute ish, at least it felt like it, exposition on how the whole reason the moon is like having this problem is because this there's like alien nanotech is taking over because humans in a different galaxy or whatever from the past or something like fucked over the aliens. At least that's how I remember it. It might have been the other way around. I don't know. Oh, no, no. The humans were using the alien, the like the alien nanotech to like fuel their, you know, society. And then it something bad happened, of course, because that's how it works. So then it went to the moon because the moon was like an energy source or something like that. I'm not going to get any further into it because I can't remember all of it, but it is the biggest load of nonsense. And when I saw it's like this is on the most underrated movies, I know all those articles are trash, but. That you're really scraping the bottom of the barrel when you're like the most underrated movies I've ever seen. Well, how about that one with the with the whole section at the end that makes zero sense to anything. I don't know. That was my movie rant for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments. Also, like, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. What a transition. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It's wild. I feel so busted right now. Uh, I, we do only have like 37 HP, so that's not great, but we're also doing an absurd amount of damage. We have a lot of movement speed. I think our armor and defense is, I mean, we have 17 armor, that's pretty strong. And we have so much regen, it's, we, we would have to try to get killed here, which we definitely could with this low max HP, but like, you know, what? What are we doing if that's what happens? So, baby, baby, it, th here's a question: Is do we think baby, baby is stronger than like double farmer? And my wife's texting me. If you just heard that Kirby sound, um, I don't. I think double farmer is actually strong. Hey, Sif's Relic. 
Rotato's Curse. Oh, it's like the opposite. But it gives us attack speed, and I want that. Hey, Giant Spell, I want that. I want Crit Chance. We need everything. Oh, gosh. We need all the stats, and we just don't have... We don't have the stuff for it. Because it's not showing up in the shop. I've seen a lot of engineering stuff. Oddly. Friendly alien. Zazu. Lotto. Oh, okay. This time we lost it. That's a shame. Wave 16. Or, okay, well, yeah, that's... Actually mowing things down now. We got a little collection of, uh... Familiars though. We got a we got a Wonder Bot, we got a Fighting Spirit, we got a Alien Spirit. We got robots. We're wearing a shark's fin. I wonder what else we can add. We have different kinds of robots even. We got a missile robot. We've got regular robots. It's wild out here. I'm gonna stand in this corner and see what my wife texts me and see if we die. Well, nope, didn't die. I wasn't even looking at the screen. I, I honestly, I just didn't. <laughs> I was like, I think we're fine. Pretty confident. Uh, um, why did I take that? That's. Whoo. Uh, I'm gonna take engineering. Sure, why not? Suspicious coupon. Sometimes, sometimes you just shouldn't play the lottery, I think. Coupon. Obliterator. Now we're fine. We're totally fine. I don't, I don't really foresee anything giving us any trouble at this point. Honestly, how could it? Well, that was easy enough, and now we have a million things. Uh, scalding blanket? Yeah, why not? Why not with the scalding blanket? You know what? Let's keep turning up enemy speed. I'm gonna, I gotta practice. Stone skin's pretty decent. Um, more fighting spirits, more robots, more trees. Modding guide, it's not really what I want. Another lotto ticket? All right. No. You know, sometimes things just don't pan out. I don't know. I'm making extremely questionable decisions on the shops this run. But, um, I think it makes it more interesting. We've now taken Suspicious Co Coupon and Alien Baby, so the enemies are extra, uh, extra fast. But it doesn't really matter when we have this much damage output. Most of it not even coming from me. Um, why are we so... Oh no, I shouldn't have taken the blanket. Oh, we goofed up bad. Oh, that's gonna lower our damage too. <laughs> okay. Oh, I found a way to fuck it up. Nice. Oh, it's only gonna get worse. All right, well, this is good content. I legit, I didn't mean to, but here we are. Oh no, we're crawling. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I can't move anymore. Save me, minion! Save me! Shit. Oh, and our damage is probably but uh, it's still 171. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Okay, well... Thanks, Scalding Blanket. You've really... You've really done a number on us. Fairy, again, does nothing. Well... 
gosh. I don't even know what we're supposed to do after that. I guess we could take Glass Ganon just for some more damage. I'll take more turrets, maybe. I don't know. Well, everything's good at the start of the wave, and then everything gets very sad very quickly. So as long as we do enough damage to actually uh, kill the final bosses before, like... We're okay now. It's getting worse. But at about, like, 20 seconds, we're just done. We're just... We're not moving anymore. It's a bad time. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, I wonder how many of you caught that as I was thinking about the blanket. And 10 seconds left and we are immobile. Amazing. All right, well, yeah, we'll take a drone. Ranged, uh, you know, no, nah, I'm not going to take that. I think we're going to kill the bosses before it becomes a problem. Ape, not today. Yeah, actually. <laughs> actually, capes just fine. At some point, you just have so much money. You can do whatever you want and get away with making dumb decisions like we did which is 100% what has happened this run. I'm, I don't, none of these things matter. All right, wave 20, let's go. See if we can kill them before bad things happen. Oh, they're staying together too. That's pretty nice. Yeah, we're like, easy. Not even a thing. Although I did try to sabotage it, so there's that. Uh, don't take a uh, scalding blanket with um, where is the item? John's contract? Yeah, don't take John's contract and Scalding Blanket in the same run, or anything that damages yourself. It's not a good idea. <laughs> well, whatever. We finally did the baby baby run that's been requested. All right. Nah, tomorrow, hard mode. No mods. Hope you're all looking forward to it. Uh, Have a great day, and I will see you then. Bye.